Hey guys, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create parallax kind of slides or animation into the Venue Resolve 15. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all we have to create a new project so click on this new project and let's rename it to slides for animation and click on create all right so now we have to change some settings so click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and set this playback frame rate 30 fps and set this resolution 1920 to 1080 and go to this optimize media and render cast and check this box and this one also for a smooth render preview and click on save all right so now we have to import our image file so go to the folder and import your image or video file so i'm using this one so i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and a link given in the description so download this image if you want and drag and drop to the media pool okay and let's rename it to image okay and drag this image to the timeline and set this image according to the project setting so select this and here is zoom so set this zoom value something around 1.2 okay and right click on this image and click on new fusion clip and then go to the fusion tab and here we get this node so right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and just drag this media out over here and drag this media in over here and deattach this connection and drag this media in to the viewer okay now select this and take a transform node so click on this transform button and add a transform and let's rename it to scale so right click on this rename and rename it to scale click on ok now drag this scale to the viewer and go to the end of this animation and right click on size click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and set the size value uh, something around 1.3 and hit enter ok now we have to create a matte node so just take a background node and drag this background to the viewer and let's rename it to matte and hit enter okay and select this matte and add a polygon mask so click on this polygon button and now create a shape uh, something like okay now select this matte and press ctrl c and create a duplicate okay and select this polygon press ctrl c to copy and right click over here and paste instance and attach this instance node with this mat and drag this mat to the viewer and now select this instance and right click over here and here is remove polygon one so click on this option okay and now select this instance node and right click on solid click on d instance and right click on border width click on d instance okay and uncheck this solid box and set a border width something around 0.001 okay and select this mat and pick a color something like white okay so now we have a thin line over here okay now take a merge node so click on this merge button place it over here and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this scale okay and drag this merge to the viewer and click on fit select this merge one and go to this inspector tab and here is operator option so change this over to in okay now take another merge and connect this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this mat okay and drag this merge to to the viewer so now it's looking something like that okay now select all these node press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v and select this node press ctrl z to create a group and place this group over here 
and hold alt and create a junction okay now drag it over here okay now connect this green point to the output of this scale node okay and drag this merge to the viewer and now change this polygon so select this polygon node and select these control points and drag it over here and select these two control point also and drag it over here now select these and press ctrl z to group okay and hold alt and create a junction okay and press ctrl v and paste another copy and connect this green point to the output of this scale node and drag this node to the viewer okay now select this polygon and create another polygon something like that okay and now select this press ctrl z to group place this group over here and create a junction so hold alt on the keyboard and click on this connection okay and place it over here and now paste another copy so press ctrl plus v to paste and connect this green point to the output of this scale and drag this merge to the viewer okay now select this polygon and create a polygon something like that okay now select this node press ctrl z to group place it over here and create a junction so hold alt on the keyboard and create a junction something like that okay now we have to take a shape 3d node so right click on flow window click on this add tool and here is 3d option and here is shape 3d so click on this shape 3d and take a shape 3d node and let's rename it to s so press f2 on the keyboard press s and click on ok ok now connect the output of this scale with this s shape 3d node and drag this shape 3d to the viewer ok so now let's navigate this 3d viewport so hold alt on the keyboard and drag this viewport by holding middle mouse button to rotate this viewport in 360 ok and hold ctrl and a scroll up down for zoom in zoom out ok and simply hold middle mouse button to pan left right top and bottom ok so now set this image proportion 16 each to 9 so select this and uncheck this lock width and height and set this width value 16 and height value 9 and hit enter okay so it's looking something like that okay now let's create a duplicate of this shape 3d node so select this shape 3d press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v okay and now connect this group to this s1 group 2 with this s2 and group 3 with this s3 and connect this group 4 with this s4 okay now we have to take a merge node so right click over here go to add tool 3d and take a merge 3d so click on this merge 3d and add a merge 3d node okay and connect all these shape 3d with this merge something like that okay and drag this merge 3d to the viewer so select this first one and go to this transform tab and here is z offset so set this z offset uh, around minus 5 okay and select this s1 and go to this transform and set this z offset 3 and select this one and create a gap of 5 units so select this s2 go to this transform 
and set this z offset 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and hit enter select this one go to this transform z offset and set this 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 basically create a gap of 5 unit between each layer so select this last one and go to this transform and set this z offset value 13 plus 5 is equal to 18 and hit enter so now it's looking something like that okay now we have to create a camera so right click over here go to add tool and go to 3d and and click on this camera 3d and take a camera and attach this camera with this merge 3d and select this camera and press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to cam and hit enter okay now click on this double view and drag this merge 3d in this viewer and right click over here and go to camera option and select this camera and right click again and go to 3d option and uncheck this grid okay and now we have to set this camera so drag this camera something like that okay so select this camera and go to this transform tab and set this camera value something around 30 and hit enter okay and go to the end of this animation right click on z offset click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and set this z offset something around 16 okay okay and here is z rotation so go to the end of this animation right click on z rotation click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and set this z rotation something around 30 degree okay and click on this spline window click on this three dot and select this select one tool okay and check this z offset click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and create a curve something like that and check this z rotation also click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth and hold this handle and create a curve something like that okay and close this spline window and now select this s1 and set this orange line according to this frame so let's scale it up something like that now select this one and set this value something like that now select this one just set this orange line according to this frame so Okay, now let's add a render 3D node. So right click on this, go to add tool, go to 3D and here it is render 3D. So click on this option and add a render 3D and connect the output of this merge 3D node with this render 3D and drag this render 3D to the viewer. Okay, now we have to add a text node. So click on this text button and add a text node. And type your text whatever you want to type so I'm typing parallax slide so okay and drag this text to the viewer and change this font style to century gothic so you can choose any type of font style and set this bold to regular okay and set the size of this text something around 0.13 and hit enter okay and right click over here and click on character label styling and go to modifier and double click on this character label styling and select this text and click on this transform button and set this line spacing 
okay, something like that and select the slideshow and go to text and set the size something like that and select this text parallax and change this regular to bold okay so it's looking nice okay and then go to tool and go to the end of this animation and here is tracking so right click on tracking click on animate and go to the beginning of this animation and set this tracking value something around 2 and hit enter okay now let's create a copy of this shape 3d node so select this and press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v okay and connect this text with this shape 3d and connect the output of this shape 3d with this merge 3d okay and drag this render 3d to the viewer and go to the end of this animation and now select this shape 3d and drag this text over here okay so select this and go to transform and set this z offset value something around 16 okay and set this scale value something like that okay and now click on this spline window and check this text one and click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and create a curve something like that okay so now it's almost done okay now we have to connect this media out with this render 3d so connect the output of this render 3d with this media out and drag this media out to the viewer and go to the edit tab okay now let's create an aspect ratio so select this and here is cropping so set this crop top value something around 100 and hit enter okay and set this crop bottom 100 and hit enter okay so it's looking nice and now it's done so let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye